Hello everyone. Uh, this is a video walkthrough of uh, Wage Datathon 2021 Starter Kernel. Under the notebook section, you will find my Starter Kernel. And um, this year, Wage Datathon Challenge has a similar data set to uh, Wage Datathon 2020 Challenge. Only uh, the uh, final target variable is different there. You were predicting the patient survival here. You are doing uh, the uh, you know uh, classification for a particular type of diabetes, and uh, so the data set is similar. Uh, here you have uh, the same features of uh, you know uh, uh, here you, this time you've got 181 features of the patients which are captured just 24 hours before they are admitted to an ICU. And uh, you'll have to diagnose if they have a particular type of diabetes or not, which is diabetes mellitus. And uh, the data is from MIT GOSSES initiative. You can go read more about uh, the MIT, uh, you know, GOSSES here, which stands for Global Open Source Severity of Illness Score. You have all the uh, details and documentation related to uh, MIT GOSSES here. This particular data set it also has a privacy certification from Harvard uh, Privacy Lab. And uh, uh, before I uh, go further in the notebook, uh, it, this notebook takes around seven to eight minutes to run. So I'll quickly teach you how to uh, run a notebook. So when you click on my notebook, you will find an option called copy and um, you'll directly find the button copy and edit. Uh, so click on copy and edit option. So you are opening the notebook in an edit mode now. And uh, so since this is a tablet data, it does not require any GPUs or TPUs, but if it's, uh, if you're using them, you can uh, set it up here. And um, I'm using Python as my programming language. And uh, so you, uh, the notebook is getting uh, ready. So you have a message which is coming draft session starting, which means you have to wait for a minute or so. Uh, now the session has started. And uh, if you want to add any external data sets, you can click on data. And if you have any external data sets, you can add them. And uh, you will find the submission file under output. So the way you, uh, if you want to add collaborators, click on share, you can add your uh, collaborators here. And uh, for running a kernel, you can click on uh, running and committing a kernel. If you want to run individual cells, you can click on either running and click on the cell which you want to run, and then now click on this run button. Or if you want to run the entire notebook, you can click on run all. And if you want to save and commit your notebook, if you want to commit your notebook, uh, then you can click on uh, save version. And uh, go to advanced settings, click on save output for this version. Uh, uh, here you're not, I mean, just using CPU, but in case if you want to change your accelerators, you can do it here. And um, click on save and uh, save. Uh, so I have my uh, notebook is running. While my uh, notebook is running, uh, head on to the, um, with data uh, and uh, I'll walk, we'll do a quick walkthrough of this entire notebook. Uh, so the second tab is about the uh, data description. As I told you, this is from MIT GOSSES initiative, and it also has certification from Harvard Privacy Lab. And this data is collected from, uh, you know, several countries across the globe. And uh, from US alone, it is collected from more than 200 hospitals. And it's over a time frame of one year. And this data sets contain training data set. The unlabeled data set does not have the target variable. And that's nothing but your test data set. You have how the sample submission file, which tells you how to how your submission should look like. And you also have a data dictionary, which accompanies the training data, which contains a detailed description, or a, it can call it a metadata file about the features in your training data. And uh, this is about the data which you have. You'll find it under the data tab. And uh, the next thing is about the metric, similar to last year. This year, this your metric is again AUC ROC curve, 
uh, you can find the detailed description resources to understand AUC. Uh, when you click on evaluation here, you've got uh, detailed resources, uh, developer crash course from Google. You also have video and other resources to understand your metric better. And uh, uh, this is, I'm going to use a couple of uh, uh, auto ML libraries for data visualization and analysis. One is table, and the other thing is pandas profiling, which requires just a single line of code. So I've uh, sometimes I would have hidden my codes because it kind of looks clumsy to make everything open. So I would have hidden if you want to look at the code, just click on code tab, you'll be able to do it and you can just uh, hide it. So here I'm importing all my important libraries like pandas, numpy, pandas profiling. I'm going to use uh, cat boost library and uh, the scale learn packages and also matplotlib, seaborn, and everything you need for further processing. I'm importing my uh, training data and target with uh, target uh, training and test data set using the pandas data frame, uh, you know, or read CSV method and just printing out, uh, you know, the shape of them. So there are 130, 157, uh, you know, uh, rows in your training data and you have around 10,000 rows in your uh, test data. You can do a quick exploratory analysis with, uh, you know, we'll start with table and uh, we'll just do a quick exploratory analysis. If you want to do a data cleaning, uh, there's also a last year, there is a particular uh, notebook which does an extensive EDA on the data set. I would have given links to that notebook. You can also go and check out, uh, you know, the EDA and the visualization from this particular notebook. Uh, her name is uh, Yuling Yu, and I would highly recommend going through that notebook. Once you uh, go through that, uh, we'll just do a quick EDA using table. The first uh, method which I'm going to try out is clean. Uh, clean is for doing a quick cleaning of your data and you just have to pass your data frame as the parameter. And again, I've hidden the output. If you want to see the output, you can click on the output and you can hide it. And uh, next I'm going to do a quick visualization using plot method. The first parameter is your data frame against your target variable, which is diabetes mellitus. And you've got visualization of target variable distributions. So it is an imbalanced data set. And uh, so again, the uh, target distributions against the top features, you've got visualization of target variables against the category called features. So, the next uh, library which I'm going to use for EDA is pandas profiling. Uh, using a single line of code, I can create a report. I'm just printing out the report. Here you have a detailed, uh, you know, EDA on the number of observations, which is 130, 100,000, 130,157 observations, and there are around 181 features for each patient. And uh, there are about 34% of them are missing values. And there are no duplicate rows, which is a very good thing. And you have around other details like the memory requirements and the number of numeric variables, number of categorical variables. This time we have got less a number of categorical variables around seven of them. And then when you scroll down, you'll find the features distribution for each of the variable, the distributions and a lot of statistics like mean, median, statistics, and a lot of other uh, characteristics of each variable. So pandas profiling is a very great RML tool if you want to do a quick analysis. Um, the next up, I'm just uh, printing out this piece of code is printing out all the categorical variables. So this time we have seven of them. 
and I'm storing it in a variable and I'm doing a bit of uh, transformations on the uh, categorical variables. I'm ensuring there are no NA values because if there are going to be NA values, your cat boost algorithm will not work. So I'm just ensuring uh, there's no NA values. And then uh, I'm splitting my train data sets into input features as X train and the target variable as Y train variable. So I'm going to use cat boost algorithm for modeling. Cat boost is an open source uh, boosting library, which is developed by researchers and scientists at Yandex. And you can go check out more on this official documentation here. So I'm creating a pool object, and this is a very basic classifier without any hyperparameter tuning. The reason is hyperparameter tuning might take one hour time, so I may not be able to show how to make a submission. So I've uh, written the hyperparameter code, which you can open up. I've commented it out. It takes around one hour to run. So if you want to try, you can do that. And um, this is the code for the hyperparameter tuning. And if you want to do a lot of feature engineering, you can check out the last year's third place solutions. You can also check out the uh, solution thread of all the winners of last year, where they have uh, given you a lot of feature engineering tips and tricks on how to do it. And the final part is uh, the submission part how to uh, make a submission. Uh, this is like uh, making a prediction on the test data set and finally creating your submission file. So we've come to the end of uh, the notebook walkthrough. The final part which I'm going to show is how to make the submission. So the way you make your submission is uh, click on Summit. So here I'm going to choose my submission file, which is submission CSV and click on submit. So click on view submissions, you're all done. And uh, you wanna check out the leaderboard, you can go check out here. And uh, so, yes, uh, so this is about, uh, you know, how to make uh, submissions and how to check your leaderboard. If you come to the end of the notebook walkthrough, if you have interesting ideas, do please share it in the form of notebooks with others. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any queries, please post them in the discussion forum. I'll be there around answering those queries. Uh, wishing you all the very best for this competition. Uh, thank you.